Hey guys, we're back with another video and today we have the IntelliView MP20 made by Philips and the reason why we are making this video is because the little speed point knob uh, was damaged via um, transportation and uh, yeah, this little uh, like uh, Call it a ring it looks like it's made of like iron or some sort of metal it just completely broke off so the the push button does not um, work therefore um, we're here to fix it so this machine is fairly easy to fix the only problem was finding the part um, not an easy part to find I was able to find it on eBay but uh, I tried looking through the original manufacturer because they do sell these it's just hard to find on their website luckily I was able to find one on eBay and uh, maybe in the future maybe they can start producing these more or making them more accessible to the public but anyway let's get started all you need for this repair is a flathead screwdriver and let's get started on the bottom there are two very long screws that made of plastic that you have to unfortunately remove the warranty which is fine because uh, uh, these machines are very old and and uh, no longer under warranty This one was made in 2006. So, yeah, well overdue its warranty, but um, just remove these. And then with a flat head screwdriver. Actually, I think we're going to need a smaller one. Let me. This is not the size recommended, but it works. You basically just twist the two knobs, right? And pull out. Outwards. They're made of plastic and they're very long. They just come out like so. Same thing with this side. stand up the machine and the screen comes out to the left All right so once it's open be very careful these can break these little flex cables on this side and we just want to disconnect this part you pull it out of its socket Pull it out of its socket and um, make sure that uh, you're very gentle when unclipping it. Comes out like so. And we pull out the new piece. We have to make sure it goes in exactly the same as that way. It's exactly the same way. And it looks like it already comes with that mounted metal piece right here. So you have to remove this little ring. So this was the part that broke. It just completely came off. The other one, you gotta make sure we 
insert the same way. See, it's missing the little um, screw uh, thread part. There we go. And place it back in here. If you guys can see, but there's this. You have to make sure that the. Actually, let me show you on the other one. There's two little pins, two little holes that need to go exactly in into the two little pins. If not, it'll be off a little bit. And then screw it back in on this side. There we go, and then attach the connector, like so. Make sure it's secure and down. Close it up again. Sure that this is tight. There we go. Make sure that this is tight. Push down on the screen, reinstall. Clockwise to lock. And there you go. And yeah, there we go. I was going to reattach those, but it doesn't matter. And then you just uh, add the button again. And it looks like it works. Connect the unit. See if the button is clicking again. There we go, it turns on. It's an amazing machine. I it's one of my favorite Phillips and definitely knows how to and let's see. A little while to load but yeah it looks like it definitely s scrolls between the menus i can yep. so 
up and running. Thank you guys. Hope you uh, like my video. Please subscribe and uh, I'll be trying to make more videos in the near future. Just uh, send me comments or, or, or messages requesting any fix. If you guys want to send me something and I try and fix it for free, let me know. Thank you.